following Jesus with the intent to learn from him, my brothers and my sisters, is a transformational journey. This transformational journey shapes our character and our actions. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, Jesus invites us saying, take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. This call, my brothers and my sisters, it emphasizes the importance of humility and openness in our relationship with him. It is important that we have openness as we seek to understand his ways and follow his examples. Learning from Jesus, it involves not just intellectual understanding, but also practical application as we strive to embody his love, his grace, and his truth in our daily living. As we walk closely with him, we are encouraged to reflect on our attitudes and our behaviors, allowing his teachings to transform us from the inside out. This process leads to spiritual growth and to a deeper connection with God. This enables us to better serve others and to fulfill our purpose. Ultimately, following Jesus as a learner allows us to experience true rest and fulfillment in our lives enriching our faith journey. So I encourage you to follow Jesus with intent. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come as humbly as we know how, thanking you for being with us along this journey. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for being merciful towards us. And Father, as we seek to start this day, we simply ask you to forgive us of our sins and create in us a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within us. We ask you, Father, to give us focus as we strive to be what you have called us to be. Give us the mindset to move with intent and to follow you with intent, knowing that you are the way, the truth, and the life. We ask you, Lord, to give us a mindset to work in excellence for your honor and for your glory. And we understand that this working in excellence is a call for us to be a learner. So give us a heart to learn from you and to implement what we learn from you. As we begin this day, we ask you to bless those who are struggling. We ask you to bless those who are sick. We ask you to bless those who are shut in. Lord, we ask you to bless those who have trouble in their home, Lord. And we ask you to work things out for your good. As we begin this day, we have struggles, we have issues, and we have problems. And Lord, we simply lay them at your feet and we ask you to work them out according to your loving and divine will. It is my special prayer right now that, Father, you go into the hospitals and you touch those who are sick. You touch those who are losing hope. We know that you can do anything but fail. And we know that you are a healer. We know that you are a deliverer. So it is my prayer that you move like you've never moved before. It is my prayer that you heal like you've never healed before. And it is my prayer that you encourage like you've never encouraged before. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you are doing. 
And we have great expectations knowing that what you will do will be amazing in our sights. So right now, as we begin to follow you with intent on today, we ask you to give us focus as we go out into the land of the shadow of death to bring a healing balm to your people. So we ask you to be with us. We ask you to guide us. And we ask you to give us focus as we go forth. And it is in Jesus' strong and matchless name, we all pray. Amen, amen, amen. And I'm going to encourage you one more time to follow Jesus with intent. God bless you.